Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And we finally concluded April, which was Zoids month, and it was actually really awesome. I never really got into Zoids and just building some of the models, and I actually watched a couple of the series. I watched uh, probably about half of Chaotic Century, and I watched Zero Century, or New Century Zero, whatever you want to call it, and a little bit of the Wild series. Honestly, I must say, Zoids is really awesome. The anime is like, eh, not so much. It's not as good as LBX, uh, but it is pretty decent in terms of quality of animation, but I, I think it was a little bit overhyped for me. So to everyone who participated in Zoids Month, thank you so much. Whether it was posting on Reddit, on Instagram, on Facebook, or even YouTube, you know, utilizing that hashtag Zoids Month definitely allowed me to see all your different work in progress, your videos, or just some pics that you posted on the different platforms. So thank you all for uh, you know showing your kits to me. They all look fantastic. Uh, one of my buddies, he built the Blade Liger. Uh, I think it was like the ABS Blade Liger. Not too sure the exact name, um, but I'll see if I can get that video and I'll post the link in the description down below. So a lot of you are probably wondering exactly what is going to be May's theme. Well, I'm gonna tell you here right now, guys. It's Mega Man. And you can use that hashtag Mega Man. I, I know it's pretty cringy, but I thought it was a perfect opportunity to use that hashtag. So yeah, we're gonna be going with Mega Man for this month's theme. Grow, what the hell are you doing? What, I'm announcing the new theme. You know damn well that ain't the theme. Tell them what the real goddamn theme is. Steve, I have no idea what you're talking about. That is the theme that I've been talking to you about and we agreed on months and months ago. How dare you, Crow? You have a list of members that agreed with you on what the maze theme's gonna be. Oh shit, yeah. Um, so the members actually came together on Discord and we all agreed to a theme for May. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make the executive decision and we're gonna do two themes this month, my lads. So we're gonna have Mega Man, and the member's choice of the theme for this month is going to be Vintage Month. This is gonna be a pretty good month, man, because a lot of people have uh, requests for me to build old kits, and I have a deep passion and love for the Mega Man franchise. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain both themes for you lads. Mega Man, is going to be Plamo and video game and figure oriented. So you are going to be able to post anything that is within that category. You could post any of the game footage. Uh, you want to post still shots from the, uh, the game, that's fine. Even artwork, I'm, I'm okay with artwork overall. Uh, then you're gonna have the Plamo line. Kotobukiya basically dominates the entire Plamo line. So if you want uh, any of the Mega Man figures, you have Mega Man, Proto Man, original Mega Man, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man X, Mega Man X Gloss, Mega Man X Armor, Mega Man X Golden Armor, or Super Armor, and yeah, that's it. So you got a total of eight model kits from the Mega Man line in Kotobukiya uh, to choose from. That's not too bad, and pretty much half of them are all brand new. And yeah, the other ones are kind of older kits, but they're fairly cheap, especially Roll. I think I picked her up for like 1800 yen. Now for the figure side, there's actually a bunch of them, or statues if you really want to, uh, but I have one from the D-Arts line, which is Black Zero. I really enjoyed that uh, figure, but I'm probably not going to review it. It's a little bit old, I don't have the package, and I don't really know what every single part is, but for the most part, if you want to post anything about the figures, feel free to do so. And also, if I can, I'm going to try and find the subreddit to Mega Man as well as, I think there's a Discord for Mega Man, so I'll post those in the description if I found them. If I didn't, then it's not gonna be in the description. Now for Vintage Month. Honestly, this was a little bit tricky because uh, Vintage is technically 20 years and earlier, so 2000 would have been the, the time frame and then anything earlier than that. But I have a lot of kits that people have been requesting for me to review, and I have other kits that you know I really wanted to get to that are from 2001. So I made the decision and we're gonna do from 2001 on earlier is going to be the kits eligible for Vintage Month. Now all you're gonna do is use the hashtag Vintage Month and post your pics or your videos, anything you really want on the different social media platforms. Uh, I'm going to try and um, you know, you know, do some kind of maybe a contest or maybe a giveaway in this month. Don't quote me on that, but that's something I'm really trying to do. Uh, right now we do have a lot of shipping issues and a lot of mailing issues. 
But for the most part, me shipping out has been pretty easy. Uh, the few people that I have shipped to have gotten their packages within a few weeks. So it's not too bad. Uh, we'll see what I can do with that. But overall, um, yeah, and I have a couple of sponsors that's going to be helping me out with this, with giving me some kits to go ahead and review for you guys. But, oh, man, I'm really excited to see what is going to be turning out for this. So that's it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I cannot wait to see all your builds in the different social media platforms. But let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.